Hi everybody, welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a crazy book tonight about three very unusual friends. You wouldn't think these guys would be friends, but they are. This book is called Moose, Goose, and Mouse. Moose, Goose, and Mouse. I've never seen a moose, a goose, and a mouse together before, but it looks like they share a house. This moose, this goose, and this mouse. I wonder what adventure they go on. We're going to have to get inside this book and find out what's going on with the moose, the goose, and the mouse. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up, because here we go. Moose, Goose, and Mouse. Written by Mordecai Gerstein. Moose, Goose, and Mouse had a house. <laughs> but it looks like their house has a big problem. What's all that dripping? Moose said, This house is wet and old. Goose said, It's full of mold. Achoo! Mouse said, um, It's very, very cold. Oh no. Their house is old, and it leaks water, and they're cold and wet. Mouse said, I want a house that's sunny, said Moose. I want a house that's funny. He wants his house upside down. Goose said, I want a bunny. Why does he want a bunny? Moose, Goose, and Mouse took a train in the rain to look for a house. They're going to get on a train and go find a new house that isn't broken. They rode in the caboose. I like this caboose, said Moose and Mouse. Me too, said Goose. Up a hill in the rain went the train. Chugga, 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 up the hill. But oops, the caboose came loose. Oh no, they're going to get disconnected from the train. What will happen to the caboose? Help! yelled Mouse. It's no use, said Goose. Oh, this is fun, said Moose, riding in a loose caboose. <laughs> Moose is loving the ride in the caboose, but Mouse and Goose, not so much. The caboose rolled faster down the hill, then faster and faster and faster still. Yippee! yelled Moose. Wow, what a thrill! <laughs> but Goose and Mouse are just trying to hold on. The caboose rolled up the hill. The caboose rolled down the hill. The caboose rolled up the hill. The caboose rolled down the hill. Wow, it's like being on a roller coaster. Ouch! Goose cried. I bashed my bill, wailed Mouse and Moose. Um, we're feeling ill. Now it's getting to be a little too much. They're feeling sick from all the up and down. Finally, the train hit a tree near the sea. Pop! And the train came to a stop. Moose said, It is sunny. Goose said, This is funny. Um, is it true, said Mouse? Is that a bunny? <laughs> now they land up in the sunny area with an upside down house and a bunny. It is true, said the bunny. Moose, Goose, and Mouse have a sunny, funny, loose caboose for a house with a bunny. Okay, that was kind of a crazy book. The Moose, the Goose, and the Mouse all got exactly what they wanted, but they had a crazy ride to get it. Their house was all leaky and they wanted a new house, and the Moose wanted a funny house, and the Mouse wanted a bunny. Why did he want a bunny? That's just silly, but he got it because they ended up at the beach in an upside down house with a bunny. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. And now the moose, the goose, and the mouse are very happy in their new house. Silly book about three really good friends. That was a fun book. You know I love it when friends are in books. Even friends you don't think are going to be friends, like a moose, a goose, and a mouse. But they are friends, and that's very, very special. Because remember, you can be friends with anybody. You just have to be a friendly 
person. You think about that tomorrow because tonight it's time for all my little friends to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow when you're out running around with your good friends, dreaming about all the crazy things you want, just have fun, keep dreaming, and whatever you do, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe like and share. I'll see you soon.